Student robotics competitions have been around for a long time. Kids building a machine that can do a simple task. That's right, but in St. Francis today, organizers threw in another obstacle, water. Why not, right? Aaron Maven takes us into the pool for this story. Bring it back to the left. At Deer Creek Intermediate in St. Francis, it's not your typical pool day. Follow it up, follow it up. The pool rules are scientific and below the surface. This competition has been a great experience for me so far. It's been so much fun putting uh, all the pieces together. This is a Milwaukee Navy League annual Southeast Wisconsin Regional Sea Perch Competition. 30 teams made up of more than 100 area students are operating underwater robots. It's an underwater laboratory, so they have to conduct an underwater mapping operation going back and forth and moving pool noodles attached to tethers on PVC pipe. I was very happy with the results as to how it was doing today. Um, we got a time of 2 minutes and 26 seconds, which I would say is decent. Ryan Miller and his team came from Union Grove to compete. They worked on their creation for weeks. He says the course was complicated. Moving the vessel in itself and kind of like um, looking through the ripples of the water and getting like a general perspective as to where the submersible exactly is. The focus was feet underwater. Students were inches away from the edge. A lot of them are running around right now learning how to troubleshoot. Navy swimmers were nearby to help any stuck devices. Eric Walbeck closely watched the competition. I teach my students are here from Union Grove High School, my engineering students, and then my son's out there competing as well. This pool is creating possibility. It means excitement. Um, we just dive, uh, no pun intended, you just dive right into it and um, do whatever you can to do it. I, I, love, I love working with water. I love naval engineering. In St. Francis, Aaron Maben, Fox 6 News. Aaron, thank you. Dive in, no pun. We love that. The top three teams from this competition will advance to the international tournament that's going to be out in Maryland. I love the fact that they said, aha, you've done so well on dry land. Let's <laughs> yeah. put it in the pool yeah, and see how good you are. Yeah, let's add some water to that. Mm -hmm. Turns out they're still pretty good, right? Yeah. Well,